the Constitution of Alabama demands that schools be segregated by race. If it weren't for the federal government, there would only be white people in this room. I will admit to you, okay, so a couple of, a couple of fundamental assumptions, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit I have not read the Constitution of the state of Alabama, so I, don't, so I don't know the provision that you are talking about. I will assume that it says what you say it says for the purposes of this conversation. If in fact there's a provision in the state law of, Const of Alabama that says that segregation is mandated by law, of course that's racist, that's Jim Crow, and that would be institutional racism. The point that I'm making is that there are a lot of black people in this room today because the institutional racism that you are decrying was in fact wiped out at the legal level by the federal government in the 1960s. So if you're citing a law from 19, you know, from 1873 or 1865, whenever the Constitution embedded segregation, if you are citing that law to prove institutional racism and that law has not been applied for 50 years, you're going to need to do better.